Hey all, welcome to Mooch News for the week of April 8th, 2018. First item for today is my recent testing of the Sony VTC5A versus the Samsung 30Q. I wanted to find out, was there a point at which the lower capacity VTC5A, which is more efficient, has lower internal resistance, can actually run for longer than the 3000 Ma Samsung 30Q. It sounds like the 30Q would be the better one, but it seems that around 55 watts, 60 watts, the higher efficiency of the VTC5A, which holds its voltage up a little bit longer, actually allows the VTC5A to run longer than the Samsung 30Q, around 55, 65 watts per battery. So you're talking about a you know, 110 watts, 120 watts, and two battery mod, etc. So if you're a high power vapor and you want capacity, don't just think, hey, the 3000 mAh batteries are gonna give them to me because they have lower efficiency, you lose more power in the battery, and the VTC5A can actually win out and run for longer. Next item, um, some testing. For last week, I did the 3700 mAh um, EFES, the 21700. Finally got to test that one. This ended up being a pretty good battery. It's almost identical in appearance to the Galizy S35, which was pretty well, you know, the best 21700. Not an incredible performer. It's not like some of the best 2700s, but still a good performer. It's still better than the VTC5A. This is almost identical to it, but some of the tooling marks are different and little tiny things like, you know, the radius of some of the bends around the crimp. So I don't know if it's the same battery, but it's still a good battery. So this, the EFEST 3700, 30 amp battery, and the Galizy S35, about the same, about your best choice for 21700s until Samsung 30T and 40Ts become uh, more available. Uh, next item up was the VTC5D. Now this battery was popping up in the Philippines. It, I've seen it rated anywhere from 25 to 35 amps. I rated around 25 amps. It's just preliminary results for the two samples that I got. Somewhere in the I said 27 to 2800 mAh range. Now there was a Dyson data sheet, evidently Dyson's using this, uh, that rated them at 2600 mAh. I don't know if that's done because they are being conservative and they want longer cycle life, or if it's actually 2600 mAh battery rated capacity. And the 27 to 2800 I measured is the typical or nominal capacity, which is often 100 to 200 mile higher. I'll know more when I can finally get data sheets on this. Right now, nothing. I have a failure to report. My 3000 ma teardown of the HG2 Samsung 30Q and the Sony VTC6, utter and complete failure. I have a jury rigged system now, cameras and et cetera, and, and the tablet here. And the tablet sets at this extreme angle and I really couldn't see. I did a test to make sure that it's focused and the auto iris, you know, brightness and everything worked. It all worked great. The focus shifted when it had to, the exposure was perfect. Ran off all the footage and uh, did the test with the three cells, played it back and the auto iris jumped to super bright. The focus never shifted and it was a disaster. So I have to repeat the whole thing. I don't know when. It's very unpleasant tearing apart those cells. It smells like hell. Went through several gloves because the steel is so sharp when you're peeling it off. You just can't pull it out of the can because it's spot welded in the inside of the can on the bottom. So hopefully in a week or two, I can get and do that again. Uh, coming up, Black Cell is uh, the 218650s, 3100 ma, 40 and 50 amp. And uh, they're 2700, 21700 are in testing now. Then the next ones whoop, coming up are, <laughs> very excited about these, the 3100 ma, uh, 35 amp. VAP cell, what I just got in today, this is identical in appearance, and VAP cell says it's a rewrap of the Samsung 30T. Yes, finally. I don't know how many they're going to have. I don't know who's going to be carrying it, but I'll be testing these in the upcoming week. And then also the 30 amp 4000 Ma, which is supposed to be a rewrap of the 40, Samsung 40T. I'll also be testing this one, and we'll see. So hopefully, Mech users, actually everybody, finally our wait is over for the uh, larger cells that perform really well. Also got the NCR 2070 C. Now what's interesting is this is supposed to be a 3500 ma, somewhere in the 25 plus amp range. You get you see different numbers for. It. Interestingly, the A and the B are NCR 2700A, NCR 2700B. But this is NCR 2070C. I don't know why. 
and it had me worried that it could be a fake, but it's got the laser etched Sanyo numbers in the bottom, the venting disc structure and the top cap look good. So it all looks good and, and Vapcell has never lied to me about anything before. All three of these are samples from Vapcell, two of each, so I'll be testing. But I'll have data on this one and we'll see what, uh, what comes of everything. Also, I'll be working on some background stuff. There's always stuff going on in the background, investigations, discussions with vendors, uh, distributors, uh, wrapping companies, a uh, couple of manufacturers, etc. I was considering not testing any cells from China, China-made cells, unless a material safety data sheet came with them. I want to know what chemistry these are. I want to know they're not LCO um, chemistry. None of these are, but let's say it was a, one of these was a China cell. I want to know they're not lipos. It's okay if we use a lipo, but I want us to know we're using a lipo. I want people to know that additional volatility, the uh, more susceptibility to heat damage and things like that, we deserve to know. So I wanted the MSDSs for any battery coming from China, and I was thinking of not testing or listing any battery that didn't have them, but they're so hard to get. They're just not used to handing to anybody. They trade them like state secrets, even though they're required to hand them to every vendor and distributor. So this may come down the road. If additional regulations start coming through, if underwriter, underwriter laboratories, hardware standards start being enacted through the FDA and stuff like that next year or something, I may add it in. But that's also something going in the background as I kind of poke and prod and, and play with the material safety data sheet requests from all these companies. That is it for this week. Thank you for watching.